Hi everyone, as I'm preparing three listings to go on the market in the next couple of weeks, I've, and I've also been talking to several homeowners about potentially selling their house now or in the near future. So the purpose of this video is to answer all those questions that people have and, and the concerns that people have. And the number one question right now is how has the process of showing my house to sell has changed? So obviously a lot of things have changed in the last 45, 50 days, right? The way we do things, the way we show your house, the way uh, real estate agents showcase your house to sell has changed, but the final end result has not changed, which is to have your house sold successfully. And thousands of houses sold last month in Maricopa County, in case you didn't catch my market update for the month of April. 8,129 new listings hit the market in April. And right now, 7,442 listings are pending. So they were over 7,000 buyers out there looking for a property and they found it. So obviously buyers are out there, sellers are selling and houses are selling. Just the way we do things has changed. So for instance, this is me with one of my face masks this is how i show houses now see and then i wear my gloves we all do my disposable gloves see and this is just one of the things uh, the most important thing right now to get your house sold is exposure it's always been the most important thing but now more than ever the marketing I'm a fir firm believer that you can have an amazing house at an amazing price, but if nobody knows it's for sale, nobody will buy it. So you need to be where the people are. And where are the people? They're home, they're online. So your house needs to have all kinds of media online, um, especially mobile friendly, because people are also looking uh, online on their phones. So people are online, we have to have a lot of media a lot of online exposure and social media and we people that's what they expect so they expect to see really rich video more than ever before a video pictures white lens photography and they don't just want to see 10 pictures of the house and a written description uh, which is what the majority of agents do people want to see and expect to see this incredible high definition white lens photography rich video 360 degree virtual tours they want to experience being in your house without ever setting foot on it and this will disqualify a lot of the traffic going through your house and this is what we want and we will find the right buyer by giving the buyer the right experience because by the time they go to your house they already know they want it only serious buyers will actually come through in person and you're not going to have a parade of people showing up and that's not going to happen and i'm also going to be controlling the showings and they're going to be by appointment only and we are following safety measures and following cdc guidelines and people wear gloves and face masks when they they come visit an occupied home and shoe covers we're limiting the number of people who can come in we're limiting the length of time that they can stay. We're also restricting the times and days and not allowing small children or um, the elderly to come in unless they're the decision maker. So basically we just want the agent and the decision maker to go see the house. Another cool thing that we're doing is that we're holding virtual open houses. So when your listing goes live, we want as much attention drawn to it as possible. So what I do is I, I make Facebook ads in Facebook announcements telling people about the open house, which is on a set date and time. And people can tune in and watch, and it's virtually like a tour of your home. And what's really cool is that they can ask questions on, on real time and they get their questions answers. Uh, answers. So that is, that is really cool too. And people tune in, so it's sometimes hundreds. So as you can see, we are being safe and we're staying healthy. Adaptation is the name of the game and we just need to adapt with the times so if you have any questions regarding this or if you feel i didn't answer a question that you may have please feel free to reach out and i hope this was helpful and until next time